Okay, we're gonna show you how to set up the awning. This is a six and a half by eight foot awning that comes with uh, the trailer. So you see here you have two zippers. Chris is gonna help me out with this because this is definitely a task easier done with two people. Uh, I'm gonna be person, person A, Chris will be person B. So what we'll do is unstrap it. This comes out and whoever's kind of unfolding this could, should just stay at the end and support uh, the awning, let me get real close here to the wall. Uh, you can see the guy lines here are actually built into the Rome version of this. And within this aluminum housing, you have both of the poles that come down to support the ends. Uh, so each one of these, they're just standard backcountry style poles where they expand and twist to lock. So that one will come down there. And then there's another one inside here that comes down and locks in place. So what you should do is have one person just stand here supporting this and the other person uh, will go in the other two poles that support the sides come out from the housing there. Uh, they come out as Chris just did and they go right into this housing in the aluminum channel and just lock, uh, lock in place there. All right, get that in, tighten that. And then once you're in, you can pull that up, adjust that. And then you have these Velcro uh, clasps here to make sure you're secured. Um, you can pull these, once it's kind of set up, you can loosen this and really pull it out to get it nice and taut. Um, that'll keep it uh, stable in any wind. And if it does rain, it is a totally waterproof awning, so you just lower one side and the rain comes right off there. Um, what I do recommend on every single setup is to have this guide out. So, you have uh, what's called a friction hook here. Um, you basically just adjust this to the point where it is the right length. So let's say that we're about right there. You'll attach that to your guy line. I use my foot to pretend that's a hook. And then you just kind of pull this here and that stays in place. So this just provides a little extra protection at that 45 degree angle to make sure that if you get a gust of wind, that this is gonna stay in place. Um, one thing to mention, this is a really solid awning. It's incredibly well built, has nice aluminum componentry, but if it does start really gusting, I do recommend taking this down.